Good morning, guys. My name is Ali. On this channel, we uh, talk about making money online. If this is something you're interested in, hit that subscribe button and continue on watching. A few days ago, I started doing um, a tutorial on how to create uh, or um, yeah, create uh, GMB Google My Business, and um, just to let you guys know, just to, for I'm always very skeptical on what's what's um, what's safe or not safe to do online because there's so many different things coming at you from different angles you don't really know what's going on but the thing that i want to do i'm at skillshop that um exceed lms.com what i'm trying to do is get certified by google um they have a lot of different lessons and a lot of different certificates but the one that i'm doing right now is gmb google my business but the reason i wanted to start at this page over here i wanted to show you guys that this is let me go ahead and make this 100 percent so you guys can see it you see right here it says um let me let me play this real quick it makes it a lot easier i want you guys to listen to this terms of service agreement share user data with skillshop allow google llc and intel mixed lms to collect use and disclose the personal data you submitted in this form for the purpose of providing the marketing material you agreed to receive in accordance with our data protection policy to learn more click here if you want to delete this data at any time you have the ability to do so in my profile Please check the relevant box below if you agree. I accept the terms of service. This website privacy policy, privacy policy, covers the websites, websites, operated by Intelum Incorporated, Intelum or we or us or are, including but not limited to Intelum.com, ExceedLMS.com, CatCat.com, FacebookBlueprint.com, Snacker.tv, and TribesOCEL.com. This privacy policy describes the types of information that we collect, what we do with it, how we protect it, and if and when we disclose it to third parties. I did that again. I can't believe it. Sorry, I apologize, guys. Uh, so basically, um, Intelum, which is learning management system. Let me go back to the page again here. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, learning management system uh, is partner with Google. That's what I'm figuring here. I didn't read the whole thing. But basically, um, Google partnered with this company, I guess, and they... Um, by finishing the course, you get certified by Google and um, you'll be able to um, uh, basically train and, and um, if you're a certified Google, um, if you have a certificate from Google, I guess you can do some training or whatever it's called, I'm not sure. But I'm doing this for my own, um, um, uh, for my own benefit. Let's go over here, it says learn more. Let's click on that real quick. Applying appliances data protection. I don't. I don't want to listen to that. It's not our um, audio. Okay, this is not important. But anyway, guys. So just want to. The main thing that I want to talk about over here is that this is safe and it's by Google and it's free. And the link's going to be below if you guys want to um, get certified. Uh, whether Google Analytics, Google My Business, um, um, 
you guys will see it here in a minute. They basically train you on everything and you become certified from Google. We're going to get submit. I'm trying to log. Oh, here we go. Perfect. Welcome to Google Skill Shop. Welcome to Skill Shop. This is the one stop shop for every kind of learner who wants to succeed with Google professional tools and solutions. Homepage, a place call your own. Find courses you've started and followed what's new and recommended courses tailored to your interests. Browse, view all product training, explore courses and follow topics to keep content handy on your homepage. My profile, all the skills you've learned when you signed in, this is where you'll find your account information settings and uh, your certification. Get Google <clears throat> product certified uh, to validate your knowledge of Google product. Look for the trophy icon to take assessment in corresponding certificate path. All right, so basically every time you finish one of these topics, I want to do Google Analytics, that's for sure, and I want to do Google Ads. Those two are very important to me. Uh, Google My Business is the one that I'm doing, and also you can get certified for YouTube. All these are free, guys. This is 100% uh, training by Google. I'm, I'm pretty sure they're all great courses, but I think I'm interested in this one. Uh, YouTube, Google My Business, Google Analytics, and Google Ads. I'm going to focus on those right now. Ad Manager, of course, that's something really important. It's related to Google Ads. Uh, there's a lot of courses here, guys. There's a lot of stuff that you guys, um, you can be become certified from Google. I'm going to pause this for a second and get, well, maybe, you know what? I'm not going to pause it. I'm just going to go for it. So basically, I was over at um, Google My Business. That's where I was. And um, uh, what you need to do here is, uh, da -da -da -da. I think I started right here. Google My Business. Do I need to start all over again? No, okay. Google My Business basic courses. So I think, okay, they have a check mark here. That mean I finished that. It says seven minute, but it took me a while because I'm trying to like go step by step real slow and share everything I'm learning with you guys. Okay, claim your business profile on Google. I think that's the next thing I need to do. I'm going to go ahead and click right here. Let that load. All right. Claim your business. <clears throat> Excuse me. Claim your business profile on Google. Introduction. Ready to go. Ready to get started with Google My Business Profile on Google. In this course, we'll show you how to sign up for an account and verify your business. You'll also discover how to link your account with AdWords. I don't know why they still use the word AdWords. This training must be really old because it's not even, it's, it's, it's called Google Ads now. Anyway, it doesn't matter. AdWords, AdWords uh, Express, so you can take advantage of location extensions. What you'll learn, how to create and or claim your business profile on Google, the benefits of linking your profile with your AdWords Express. How do you say that name? Kite, Kia, let me see that. Why isn't this working? Meet Kate. Okay. All right, let's meet Kate. Kate owns and operates Kate's Caps. One of her customers recently bought or brought to her attention that her store doesn't appear in Google search results. Kate connected or can, Kate is concerned that she might be missing out on potential customers who search for, <clears throat> excuse me, apparel stores in the area. So basically, this guy showed up and he's like, "We can't find you on uh, Google um, on Google search." And so she, so and um, Kate sells apparels, so she's thinking like, "What should I do to get this fixed?" Kate knows about caps. 
not building an online presence, what can she do to help more customers find biz find her business? All right, set up a profile on Google My Business in three steps. Kate is relieved to find that getting a profile for her business is easier than she thought. Let's follow along as she creates her profile. All right, first thing you're gonna do is sign up for Google My Business. Kate visits google.com front slash business and logs in with her Google account credentials. Step number two, enter your business information. Next, she files or she fills out basic information about her boutique. She, or I'm sorry, such as name, business type, telephone, and store location. Step number three, verify your profile. Finally, Kate must verify her business profile, I mean her business, before her profile is given the green light to appear on Google search and maps. Once the profile has been verified, Kate is able to add more detailed information that customers want to see, such as website, store hours, and photos. The more information she provides, the more customers can learn about and interact with her business. Okay. How, <clears throat> excuse me, how to handle other profile situation. Unlike Kate's cap, caps, not every business will need to create a profile from scratch. What if you want to claim your existing profile, have multiple business locations, or want to add an authorized user to your account? Take a look at some frequently asked questions for setting up and managing your Google My Business account. <clears throat> All right, let's check out the first one here. How do I claim an existing profile? There are two ways to claim your existing profile. Sign up or log in to Google My Business. As you enter your business information, the system will suggest possible matches. Select your business select your business your business and confirm that you're authorized to manage it locate your business profile in maps and click claim this business and don't worry if all the information isn't quite right you'll have the chance to edit it once you have uh, verified that you are the owner of the business <clears throat> okay, I'm, I'm not, I don't understand what's going on here. Okay, so basically, if you have an existing profile, you can go in and claim it, and you can go back and edit it to make it uh, tailored to your business. All right, step number two, or um, yeah, step second step. What if someone has already claimed my business? That's a great question. Don't panic if someone in your organization has already claimed the business. It's possible to add more users to that account. If you don't recognize that the account that verified, if you don't recognize the account that verified the profile, you'll have to request ownership and follow directions to claim business. Okay, I guess you have to submit some papers to Google to, or not submit, pay. you have to submit maybe an email or a letter or whatever to, to, to Google to let them know that you actually own that business. What if a profile for my business has wrong or incompatible or incomplete information? Sorry guys, uh, English is my second language and I'm, uh, I'm still trying to figure it out. <laughs> If you haven't, if you haven't claimed your profile yet, start start there. If you uh, own 
and manage the profile, log into your Google My Business account and at any time to make the necessary changes. Make sure customers have access to the most up-to-date information about your business, including special holiday hours. Um, always double check that your profile is correct before publishing. As soon as you apply your changes, they will be live to customers across Google. That's great. So basically you can go in and just edit all the, you log into your account and edit all the information to make it, uh, to update everything that you need to update. All right. I have several business, business locations. Do I have to enter them one by one? <clears throat> if you have fewer than 10 locations, you'll have to enter them individually. Business with 10 or more eligible locations can add, verify, and manage them in bulk. That's really good. How can I verify my business? Verifying your business is the most crucial step of all. You won't be able to manage your profile until you have completed this process. You may be able to verify your business via phone, email, or postcard, which can take up to two weeks to do. Take um, the next learning module on verification to learn more. I want to add authorized users to my account. You don't have to you don't have to manage your profile alone. Add users with three levels of permissions, owner, manager, or site manager. Just invite your desired user right from the user's menu and specify their role. Go beyond the basics with AdWords Express. Kate has noticed an influx of customers to her store since her profile went live on Google and she feels ready to reach an even larger audience with some targeted ads in AdWords Express. She can make she can make it even easier for potential customers to find her store by logging into AdWords Express right from the Google My Business interface to create an ad. Coupling her profile with targeted ad campaign means Kate has more control over how often and where her business is showing. That's beautiful. So basically she can log in from Google My Business and create ads right from there. <clears throat> make it stick now that you have now that you know how to create your business profile on Google my business let's see if you can apply what you've learned um, you see an existing profile for your restaurant on Google with outdated business hours, what step do you have to take to correct a um, profile? Uh-oh, quiz time. Place the following steps in the correct order. Okay, so the first step is claim your profile, log into Google My Business, update and save your business information, verify your business. I think the first step would be, <clears throat> excuse me, this would be step number one. First thing you want to do is log into your business. And next thing you want to do is um, update and say, no, I, oh yeah, you can, um, claim your profile will be the first, the last thing, right? <clears throat> or do you claim it first and then? log in to Google My Business. Um, no, first you want to log in, of course, because you can't do nothing, and then claim it, and then um, update and save business information, 
Okay, I think that's right. Okay, I'm gonna go with that. So first thing you wanna do is log in into Google My Business, claim your profile, update and save your business information, and then verify your business. Or oh, does verification, oh, they said you have to, do you have to verify it first? Let me go back up here. <clears throat> okay, they're saying uh, how to handle other profile business. How do I claim my existing profile? What if someone else has it? Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna wing it. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go log in, claim, update, and verify. Right? Or do you verify and then update? Oh, okay. I think we need to move this one up. This one's going to be three. I hope I'm not wrong here. <clears throat> Log in. Claim your profile. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm going to go with it. Let's go with it. That's correct. All right. I got it. All right. That's correct. You must first claim your listing before you can edit and manage your business information. Hooray, got one right. Woohoo! <laughs> All right, good. So let's um let's let's read this again. Place the following steps in a correct order. First thing you want to log into your account, claim your profile, verify your business information, update and save. Okay, so that's the order they need to be in. Uh, show feedback. What does that mean? That's correct, okay. I'm proud of myself. Recap. In this course, uh, we showed you how to create and or claim your profile on Google My Business. Now that your business is verified and officially on the map, you are giving your customers up-to-date information about exactly who you are, what you do, and where they can visit you. Don't forget that you can ex expand your advertising capabilities by linking your Google My Business to a profile, uh, Google My Business profile to AdWords. To learn more, check out um, the links below. Sign up and review your business information. Add and claim your business profile, uh, reach more customers with, um, with online. Okay, let's mark this as complete. This is basically straightforward. It's real easy stuff, guys. I mean, anybody can do this, all right? But I figured I wanted to go, I don't know why it's not moving forward here. Mark complete, but it's not, nothing's happening. Let me try this again. Boom. 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 I don't know why you want to move forward for some reason. It's, it's kind of stuck on this stage here. Okay. Hmm. It won't go for some reason. You would, I would see the thing swirling around here, but it's nothing happening when I click mark complete. Should I just close it? Mm, okay, that's fine. I don't care. Let's close that because it's not letting me move forward anyway. Okay, it brought me back to the main. Oh, okay, there you go. That's already checked. So we're, we got the first uh, Google My Business basic course. Engage customers with Google My Business. Claim your business profile on Google. By the way, I'm going to link the other video, guys, underneath this if you watch it. Um, I want to apologize to you because the video, the very first video that I made, I forgot to turn on my microphone, so if you go up to 7 minutes and 30 seconds, that's when the audio starts on the other video. I'm going to link that below also. All right, so um, get your business profile verified. That's going to be the next step. Let's click on that. <clears throat> okay, I guess after, after you mark it complete, when you go to the very bottom, when you finish that one uh, course or the whatever it is, when you mark it complete, it doesn't automatically advance to the next step. So what you want to do, you want to come over here and click on that X, and that would 
basically take you back to the main page and you move on we move on to the next um the next um step get your business profile verified introduction you have your google my business account set up but before you can move forward you'll need to confirm that you're the only you're the one who really owns the business it's simple process whether you have one location or dozen or a dozen what you'll learn how to get your profile verified on Google my business how to use bulk verification to verify multiple locations did you know verification helps protect business owners and ensure accurate business information across all Google platforms but how does Google verify you are who you say you are okay press each image to learn more uh, through mail let's click on that one um, through the mail yes some businesses must request postcard with a unique verification code from Google to be sent to their listed address. So one, one option you have over here to verify your business is um, they'll send you a, a postcard with your pin on it, which I actually received uh, today. Okay, it'll look, it'll look like this, guys. I hope you can see here. Let me make this a little bigger. Hey guys <laughs> all right so it's gonna look like this see that you're gonna get this actually in the mail okay and um, that'll have okay and when you open up the postcard it'll look postcard look like that okay I got my, my I got have my pin covered my uh, pin covered over here but it's right there okay all right cool so um let me shrink this down so you guys can read the text okay good enough um all right so one option you got is in the mail the second option is by phone let's go ahead and click over here uh by phone or mail certain businesses pro certain business profiles may be able to verify over the phone email or even instantly through google search console okay so that's another option. You got mail. The second option is by phone all at once. You come over here. The third option is bulk verification may be available for businesses with large number of location. So if you have a bunch of location, you can do bulk verification. How do business owners benefit from profile verification? Arjun, is that how you say his name? Let me read that. Yeah, see. Is that how you say that? Come on. Why isn't it working? Ar Arjun. Okay, let's just say Arjun is the owner of Bean Coffee and is eager to get his. Arjun. How do you say that? I must have butchered the name. Hang on a second. I want to learn that. There's always silent letters. Arjun. Oh, this one says Arjun, and the other guy says something else. Arjun. Oh, it is Arjun. Okay. Arjun is the owner of Bean Coffee and is eager to get his business profile on Google up and running. What he isn't clear on is why he needs to go through the verification process. Let's consider how verification benefits benefits him and being him and being coffee. Uh, press the image to learn. Control over your business profile means more views. Click on that one. Verification gives Arjun the key to his profile, allowing him to manage and edit bean coffee's information so that his customers will always stay up to date in fact 
the average well-maintained Google My Business profile gets five times more views than profile which haven't been claimed by other owners. So basically what they're saying over here, when you have, uh, when you claim your business, you, you're you able to go in there and, and make it, manage it yourself and basically uh, make posts, run specials, and you're more discoverable on uh, uh, Google Maps and so on and so forth. So having having more control when you claim your profile. Next one here, enhanced interaction with customers. Better yet, once Arjun has fully claimed his profile, he'll be able to entice potential and existing customers with photos of his barista's latte art, extend hours during finals, and help responses to customers' reviews. He can even post and edit his website with with the integrated website builder. That's pretty. That's pretty powerful, guys. Basically, so he can go in there and he can interact with his customers. He can make some updates to his. Um, he can make posts and he can um, 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 he can make posts on his website. Um, and link his um, website to Google My Business. So you have a lot of flexibility here, to, and, 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 and uh, you're able to engage with your customers and let them know how, how to, what specials you have, what hours you're open, and so on and so forth. Insight, the third, what are we looking at? What are these called? Control over your business profile. Okay, when you have a third, third uh, thing that's gonna. Um, you're going to be able to do is insight into business performance. Last but not least, Arjun won't miss out on the uh, intel that Google My Business provides for members, such as number of people that saw his business on Google Maps or search or the number of direction requests and calls and he gets calls he gets from his business that's really cool so basically you're going to be um uh by being on google my business um you'll be able to see the number of people that saw your business uh, on uh, google maps or google search and the number of direction requests so people when they go um hey google find me the nearest uh coffee shop he'll be able to see that and um, he'll be able to see how many people got direction to his place and see how many um, people checked his profile and so on and so forth. So this is all great intel on how his business is doing. All right, get verified. Now that Arjun understand how necessary verification is, he takes steps to get his three bean coffee location verified. Let's follow along as he goes through the process. Uh, press the arrow to proceed to the next slide. Okay, hold on. After Arjun enters his first location in Google My Business, the mail link in the top left corner of the page indicates he must request verification postcard from Google. He'll repeat the process with each of the locations. So basically, he's going to have to have a postcard sent to each location. Next page. The postcard should be the postcard should the postcard <laughs> the postcard should arrive at his listed business address within a few days to two weeks, depending on depending on location. During this time, he should avoid editing his business information to prevent delays in the verification process. So basically, while um, you're waiting for your postcard to arrive, don't do any editing because it's going to delay the verification process. Just don't do anything. When you get your when you get your postcard in the mail and you enter your uh, verification pin, like I have over here in that postcard, then you can do the editing afterwards. The postcard contains a five-digit verification code. Uh, 
to complete the process, Arjun signs back into Google My Business, chooses the location the postcard was sent to, and click the enter code button at the top of the page. It's pretty straightforward, guys. When you get that in the mail, I, I got mine in the mail, and then you just, it gives you the link on here. Let me show you something here. Ba -ba -ba, there it is. Let me make my photo. Okay, I want to make this a little bigger. All right, here we go. So, um, it, you have to go to, um, hang on. See right there? It gives you the, see that link? I'm doing it wrong. You have to go to that um, AdSense. This is this is a little different. This is from my Google channel. And you have to go to this channel, right? You have to go to this link, http.go.g.co, da 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 da, AdSense, that, that, or uh, front slash AdSense pin, and you would have to um, enter that pin. But what they're saying over here is don't do any verific, any uh, updates until you get that um, thing in the mail. Whew. Um, the check, the checks, the checks not in the mail. Verification for Arjun goes smoothly, but one of his Bean Coffee location never received verification postcard. No problem. All Arjun needs to do is request another one. That's pretty simple. So if you guys don't get one in the mail, just request another one if you have several locations or even one location. From his account, Arjun selects the still verified locate, um, still, still unverified location double check that the information is correct and select request another code. Once it arrives, he will be able to complete the process as he did from his other locations. <clears throat> other forms and verifications. Select Google My Business profile have option to receive a verification code via phone, email, or even instantly. Google My Business users who see the option to verify by phone can choose to receive their, verifica their verification code via phone call or text. That's pretty cool. That would be like the quickest way right there. Um, just have somebody just text it to you or call you and then you, you can move on to the next step. I had to wait a couple weeks. But again, that's for my um, YouTube channel. So I don't know if it's different for Google My Business or for YouTube. Um, next thing you can do is um, Google My Business users who see the option to verify by mail can choose to receive their verification code in an email message. That's pretty fast too. I love that one here. Both these two options, the text, phone call, and the email, they're awesome. You don't have to wait in the mail. Google Search Console users who have already been verified may have the option to request instant verification. To do this, sign into Google My Business using the same account verified in Search Console. That's that's another one of the courses that I'm going to study is uh, Google Search Console because I think it's something I need to learn also. All right, so you got uh, three options. You can do a, a phone call, text. You can do um, in an email, or you could um, do it through Google Console. But you have to be verified already to use that option. Get verified in bulk. If Bean Coffee were to have ten locations, they could. Be verified in one stream streamlined process instead of one by one let's take a look at bulk verificate how let's look at how bulk verification works okay Arjun logs into Google my business and sets up a business account that allows him to safely share management of all locations with multiple users. He then creates and uploads a spreadsheet with all 
of Bean Coffee location and fills out verification request form. The verification request form contains detailed information about his business. Basically, you create a, a spreadsheet like they're showing over here and you have to upload it, I guess. That's how it works. I don't have multiple locations, so I've never tried it. It may take up to, uh, up to a week for the request to be processed. To prevent potential delay, Arjun ensures that his spreadsheet includes 10 or more location from the same business and all locations that he manages. His account is free of error. Uh, his account is free of errors and meets quality guidelines. He follows up on any request for more information or corrections and optimization on his account. Okay. Make it stick. Now that you know how to verify your business profile on Google My Business, let's see if you can apply what you've learned. Your request ver requ your you requested verification for your profile and awaiting your code. What can you do to prevent delays or denial of your request? Okay, here's, here's the quiz time again, guys. Uh, select the best answer, okay? Make multiple verification requests to see which one. All right, no, that's wrong. You don't wanna do multiple verifications. Make sure your information in your profile is complete and correct before requesting a verification. This one sounds pretty good. Don't make edits to your profile during verification process. Hold on, I have to read this one more time. Now that you know how to verify your business profile on Google My Business, let's see, okay. Your requested verification for your profile and awaiting your code. What can you do to prevent delays? Okay, so basically you your requested verification. Oh, to prevent delays, don't do any edits. This is it right here. So like I was saying earlier, you've already requested the verification. So wait for the ver verification code to come and then make edits. So right here, this is the best one. Do, don't make edits to your profile during the ver verification process. So I, I think this is going to be my answer. My final answer. Boom. All right. Got it. Not exactly. Son of a. <sighs> Avoid making multiple verification requests. Instead, I was pretty confident on that one. The other two I wasn't even confident on, and, and I got them both right. But anyway, never... Uh, okay. Avoid making multiple verification requests. Instead, make sure that your listing is accurate and up-to-date before submitting the verification request and ensure that you don't make any edits during the... Ver Okay, so I was partially right. Damn it. So this is the right answer over here. Or did I get it right? I'm confused. Make sure information profiles and uh, da, 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 da. show answer. You already showed me the answer. Oh, both of these. Okay, okay, okay. So the answer is both. So again, if you don't want to, um, if you're waiting on your, on your, um, verific on your, if you're waiting on your code, what can you do to prevent delays? Okay. Make sure you make sure that, make sure your information on your profile is complete and correct before requesting verification. So ma basically make sure all your information is correct. Another thing too, do not make any edits to your profile until the verification process is arrived so there's two steps all right so i'm glad i'm making mistakes here so you guys can um learn from my mistakes also recap in this course it, okay it gives you uh gives you a check mark down here every time you uh complete did you see that pop out and it has check mark in this course you learned the different ways you can verify 
your profile no matter how many lo locations you manage. We also gave you simple tips to handle issues and avoid delays. Mark complete. Okay, this doesn't advance, so you have to come back here to the X, exit out of that. It already it gives me that little um, check mark at the bottom. This little thing popped up. I don't know if you guys saw it. It says complete. Okay, so I'm on uh, step number three. I know this thing says supposed to be seven minutes, six minutes, and five minutes, but I'm taking a lot longer. Hey, guys, I'm going to pause, and I'm going to do these three um, either later on or perhaps um, early tomorrow. Um, it's my birthday, so I'm going to go... Um, um, sip on some champagne. <laughs> Have a wonderful day, guys. Good luck. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.